Okay, let's get inside! From mood pieces and storyboards to detailed production paintings and modeling callouts, the airship was meticulously designed to be a continuous environment from outside to in. Here's the game environment inside our engine in Maya. This low poly scene is surfaced with a tiny set of tiling multi layer materials with vertex blending. Convincing construction details such as rivets, welds, and ropes were achieved with cheap alpha cards floated over the surface. As one of our earlier environments to go into production, the airship was built without us really knowing the final camera framing from the rappel sequence. So even in the final game, it is pretty much built out from every angle. Being able to lock down modeling layouts early on was actually really critical. As you see here, the mocap sequence called for a high degree of complex hand and foot contacts for the set, all built to scale on stage for the shoot. Here in a diffuse PS4 debug build, you can see the sequence is actually player controlled, both in the camera and Galahad's progress along the bracing wires. Go! Once inside the hatch door, the detailed concept designs continue in the maintenance section of the airship. In this debug walkthrough, you can see the high level of modeling detail, with every girder, brace, and cable anchored and connected accurately. With sculpted normal maps, we even captured the dimpling of tension cables spanning underneath the taut canvas panels on the floor. Here in the Maya view of the set, you can see an example of the real-time interactions of our lighting and volumetric system, all being adjusted on the fly. As well as an example of the unique variety of surfacing we were able to achieve from a small set of very memory-efficient multi-layer tiling materials all making for a rich backdrop for rather ungentlemanly behavior. Oh. Oh.